Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, 
Remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Why would Mr. Hattrick call me a twerp? Uniform, young man. Go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> We don't you have a kid. bar in the you door, stink. just a soda you machine. Are the biggest loser in the you should probably change into your uniform awesome. if you don't want to get in trouble. I'm gonna knock your ass back to the Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. 
What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. How can I be expecting you're not a crane? Oh no, not again! Hey, Jimmy, really? let me show you around this prison. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Vocal cord out! I'm really sorry. Your money, all of it! Please, you don't want to do this. Puke brain! Kneel before Russell! You get more doofus. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules, they'll hurt you. Time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. 
Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Fascinating, isn't it? Good job. Keep paying attention. Excellent work today, Mr. Hopkins. Watch and learn, suckers! No sweat. Poopy pants! Scrabble snitch is like a brother to Miss Danver. Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. Good one. Good show. That's right.
Well done. Keep it up. That's right. Well done. Good one. Good show. Keep it up. Good show. That's right! Good one! Ah, you have the makings of a poet laureate, James! Please let me off the horse. God's face! What's going on? That's how you do it! I, will not I should teach you. lessons or something. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. <laughs> Ow! Come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? You're really gonna get it now! Ah, uh, you suck! I saw it. You ran towards the film. I'll get yeah. him here! I'll break him! <laughs>
Who's the boss around? So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey, man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend, nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Jimmy, this way. Hey, see if you can knock out the windows on that bus. I want to see your long range skill. See if you can get him with your slingshot. <laughs> You do have some talent. I guess you don't suck. Come on, let's go down to the football field.
That's it? Why does English class Yo. be thousand egg? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. Certainly captured my character, I think. Very talented.
Hey, wanna help me with my homework? <laughs> Hi! Why are boys so confusing? I just don't get them. Just wanted to show you I care. Oh, Jimmy, that's so nice of you. This is going to be good. <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? I'm awesome! I always knew I could do it. I'm not one of these guys who can't fight. I really messed that up. I'll take that. Have you seen a celebrity at close? If you don't like it, then do something with your pull. Don't blame it. Have you ever, you know, made sure. Want some more pain? I'm gonna kick butt! It's your own fault. Oh, oh, oh. for some wrestling instruction. This will require physical contact between you and your opponent. Don't any of you enjoy it? Hey, 
Hey, you. I really like you. I got plenty of room with this game. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> Come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is. And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live scum! on campus. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? 
Exactly. He's so mean to me sometimes. Anyone throw this away? Transistor when you come back. There we go. Done. Supposed to be. I right? ain't whips for breakfast. Oh, you're not hitting me. 